Hey YouTubers, what's up? Fantasticville here in uh, Marion, Texas. I'm off uh, Wetz Road. W-E-T-Z is the name of the road. Um, this is the Marion Cemetery. It's one of two cemeteries in the city. Um, I'm going to go and take a walk through this one. Uh, take a tour. Uh, the, from looking at the history of this cemetery, the oldest graves found were about in the 1850s. Um, I saw one from 1852. But we're going to take a walk through. Um, go and check it out and see how it goes and uh, give you some information on any of these tombstones if I find any in nombre del Padre Hijo y Espíritu Santo Amen Tabi tabi po. Just wanted to say something before I walked in. Mentor Nan. This one first, I got it. I got it. Cowboys fans. I've seen that a lot here in South Texas. I've uh, other cemeteries I've walked in. They put the football fans. So here's two parts of the cemetery. Right here. Going to the train tracks up there. On the other side of the train tracks is FM 78. There's Wet's Road right here. Looks like the older headstones are on this side. I'll take some are tipped over. Illegible. read the last name looks like Vasquez on this born 1859 passed away 1939 there's a this older side it I don't want to walk over anybody's grave I have a feeling there's a lot of headstones missing. It's a small one, 1927, 1929. Here's one that looks like it was nice at one time, just cracked. San Martinez Valesio. February 16, 1928. He died un año en diez meses. Oh man. That's one year and ten months old. The other cemetery here in Marion is the St. Lutheran one. And it's got a lot of German graves. I looked at most of the names buried here. In this cemetery, 80% are uh, Spanish names. Just headstones.
As you can see, I'm in the one corner from the street looking at the headstones. There's a lot missing. Probably said that before. The records show a family still upkeeps this. Um, the family lives up in Seguin. Which is about 11 miles up the road on FM 78. The family still maintains it. This had to have been redone. I'll go on the other side again. I don't want to cross over anybody. Amador. Padre and Madre. It's got the parents. The dad and the mom here. Born March 12, 1852. Passed June 1908. And then... The mom, 1859, passed away in 1942. This one was redone. But this is a family here. This one passed away in 1915. See, there's stones now just... Stones just marking in the grass. Again, like I'm on the older, older part of this old cemetery. Here's another one. Sixty-five years old, he died. 1850, 1915. Maria Esther, Amy Madre, Elisas Roche. Falling in the ground. Looks like the stone toppled over. Roosevelt Harvey, 1905-1929. Ewing family. Hispanic one. Sotero Ramirez with a Z at the end. Shepherds. We got Nueva. I gotta look, but. Something happened here in the 1950s. This young person, 1952, 1953. That was Hidalgo. This child is same day though, September 30, 1953, 1953. Huh. A kid, 1953. So that's three in a row the same year. This is an army veteran. Margarito or Avila, Texas. He was a corporal in Company A, 224th Infantry. 
passed away in 1953. This young, young lady, 1952, Senorita Feliz Avila Rodriguez, or Senora, I think the Senora. 1952 illegible not illegible there's another one here the grass is getting ready to cover it up going over to what looks like the the newer side Tabitari for No Me Padre Hijo Espiritu Santo Amen Usually Tabitari Po is in uh, the Philippines when you're walking around in the woods at night or the forests and jungles just saying it here because I'm in a cemetery along with the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Gone but not forgotten. This is a whole family here. Chazelle Williams, Ethan May Williams, and Melvin C. Williams. Nineteen seventy two. The headstones look real old. They're from 1972. I might look up this family. They all passed away December 9, 1972. I don't know if in other cemetery visits there's a lot of talking, but... Cemeteries are always interesting, have some sort of history behind them. Here's another military veteran. Wish they cut the trees away around them. Oh, fellow shipmate. David Hugh James III, U.S. Navy. Again, like I said, the family that owns this cemetery is actually living up in Seguin. There's another one broken headstone. Another destroyed headstone. This kind of stuff will get worse because this there's an actual tree growing through the sides of the headstone.
can't read it. Here's another one toppled over. Just marked LM on the initials. There has been about five recent burials in here. This one's a German family, looks like G R I E S E. Again, another headstone just toppled in. Another, uh, actually, two military people, the same family. Yes, same family. El Oseo A. Ibarra, U.S. Navy. He was a Vietnam vet. Check the other one on the other side. And then Raul Ibarra, specialist for U.S. Army. A lot of Choas here, Rodriguez's. Striegel. Just a wooden cross. Again, the This one says baby Pacheco Jose. Mm. These two usually when cemeteries do this, I know here in this area it's, they can't afford headstones. This is the Ibarra family. Passed away in 1983, or the headstones disappeared and they're just trying to mark it. Here's another military veteran, Benito Chavira, Texas, private first class headquarter battery 79 CA, World War II. Douglas Another you buy that This one went away Cemetery is always interesting. A lot of other people go through them also and do videos.
Again, there's a couple of graves from the 1850s in here, but I have a feeling they're in that section where the headstones are already buried under the grass or broken completely. This Vasquez passed away in 1926. It's the only thing with this cemetery. This tree's, the roots are going right down to where he's buried. It's just growing in the middle of where his cemetery plot is. So this family came and remarked their their relatives. This is a nicer new headstone. They both passed away in the 30s. Thy remembrance shall endure into all generations. Psalm 102 with Jesus in heaven. This one's got me puzzled. Can't read the dates on it or the last name. But this guy's from, or he was from Tamaulipas, Mexico. Hey, what's up, Fantasticville fans? Uh, leaving the Marion Cemetery. It's March 1st, about 90 degrees already, March 1st. Um, just put my hat back on. I don't like keeping my hat on inside the cemetery there. Um, hope you all enjoy this. I'm like some other people, they do the cemetery walks. I did a little talking in there, um, but at a low voice, low volume. But enjoy. Take care. Have a good one. Have a good rest of your week. Adiós.